Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Wednesday, hump day. <laughs> today I'm going to do my empties and I have got them piled up here. They were like falling over in my closet and I could not even like step in. Which brings me to another thing. I have so many people ask me for closet tour and the thing is I don't have a big walk-in closet you know, that's going to be so much fun to go see in. I actually have, I have clothes up here. I try to put like dresses and stuff like that up here um, in my closet. I just have most of my t-shirts, but I have stuff in two different dressers. My closet, half of John's closet, um, Will's closet, and up here. I have clothes everywhere because, you know, gosh, all those faux furs and stuff and sweaters, you know, they take so much room. And I just don't have a big closet. So I don't think that that would be, you know, very much fun. And the same thing with my makeup. I'm not one that likes to keep all of my makeup in the bathroom. What I like to do is I have um, two other clear cubes on my vanity and I keep things in there. And then when I want to go use it, I just go get it. But I keep, you know, just my basics in the bathroom. So, and really, if you look at my last makeup collection it's about it's just about the same i mean it's just you know my clear cube on the counter and then my drawers going down and um i haven't taken over john's side i just thought i'd let him have his half of the bathroom but um so anyway there goes that but today i am going to share with you my empties and you're going to see the same stuff over and over again but that i think that's part of it it's kind of like a favorites and um so anyway here we go Garnier, that miscellaneous, or however you pronounce it, water. Um, I like, I've tried the one with the pink cap. I like the one with the blue. It is just wonderful. <laughs> Look, I st stuck my I Voted sticker on there some, for some reason. I must have just had it and stuck it there real quick. Um, and it's wonderful. It works for waterproof. But what I really like about it is even when you don't have waterproof, it just it's, makes your makeup just slip right off. I've, I've told you about that. Okay, this is something else I've told you in the past about. It is the Nivea Pearl and Beauty Smooth and Beautiful Underarms Antiperspirant, 48 hours. Um, I think I heard about this from Alex, HRH Collection, just, you know, about the um, Korean different brands and stuff of deodorants that help your underarms look prettier and smoother and all this stuff. And then this one really seems to work. It gets great reviews. I am now using the same thing in a roll-on. I've gone through the whole spray. And my other favorite is the DKNY Cashmere Mist. So both of those are the only deodorants I use. Uh, hairspray, I've gone through, I don't know how many cans of this. There's likely to be another can. It's This is just a good one. It's the Purology Strengthening Control Zero Dulling Hairspray. And right now I'm using the Unite and the RN Co. And I like those both. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to say which one is better. They're all along the same. They're just that medium hold, strengthening control. It's not a real strong hold, but I do like that one. And the scent's not bad at all. It's not offensive at all. Okay, this I've shown you time and time again. This is something that I've shown you before. I've actually got the shampoo, a little bit of it left in the shower, and then I've got two of these big bottles on backup. This is one of those things that I never want to be without. No matter what other shampoo and conditioner you see me try, this is a basic. It's just, it's awesome. I mean, it's one of those, I even like it on Will's hair because he has thick hair like especially right up here like I do both of us have thicker hair right here in the crown and his just gets I mean, it always gets tangled even though it's a short boy cut and um, I really like it when he uses that it seems to make his hair lay down better purity wipes I wasn't crazy about these they were not um, they didn't have enough stuff in them I ended up having to wet them so I don't think I'd get those again but I think I got those in like a some kind of um, package Okay, I see right off the bat, oh, I hate the way it drowns that out, uh, two of these Ulta nail polish removers. Um, one thing I wanted to say about this is I've noticed to get the regular. If I get the one that is for sensitive or whatever, the purple one, it doesn't take it. I really have to work at getting my nail polish off. 
And so this one is, I think, a little bit stronger. It might be, I don't know if it's pure acetone. I mean, acetone is the first ingredient. And then it's got some other stuff, gelatin and all this kind of stuff in it. But this is what I like to just, I don't like to have to mess around with it because I paint my nails. So I usually take my nail polish off every time I get in the shower. And then I get in the shower and that way my nails are good and clean and then I go from there. And here's another one. And of course, Brooke paints her nails about every other night too. We're both obsessed. Okay, this is my old Clarisonic head. I just got a new one. I use the Sensitive Skin. I have tried the normal. It was just too rough. And I have tried that one that has the really long fluffy bristles and I didn't like that either. I really like just the Sensitive. That works. Okay, here's a box of Sephora lashes I must have used, Celebrity Lash. If I put it in here, I must have liked them. So, Celebrity Lash from Sephora. You know, I, matter of fact, I think I just started throwing these away after a while because this is my favorite toothpaste. This is gonna sound bizarre, but I crave this toothpaste. Like, I, after I eat, you know I use like those little portable toothbrushes and I use the glide scope picks but at night I cannot wait to brush my teeth and my favorite like um, I hate to say flavor but I guess the favorite one I like is the daily protection I like it better than the whitening or the fresh breath or the multi-action <laughs> I am a, a teeth or a toothpaste kind of sore I when I was getting my teeth cleaned she was, she said, have you worked for a dentist? She said, you have a lot of knowledge. I said, well, I have, but it was when I was like 23 and I was a receptionist. I said, I just really, I enjoy taking care of my teeth. I know it's just something fun for me. And so what she did is she took a picture with their computer, you know, that little wand. She showed me inside my mouth, you know, what, where I had plaque after I've been taking such good care of my teeth. And the only place that I did was, you know, behind your two lower teeth where you have the salivary glands. Well, I didn't have plaque, you know, where I had been flossing so good, but maybe on the sides. And she said, that's just hard to get to with the floss. So, um, and then next time we'll compare. And she said that my teeth looked so good, she didn't think I needed to come back every four months anymore. She said she thought I could make it six months. So, and she said she, when the dentist came in and asked how everything looked and she said, well, how are her gums? Sorry. That, the TV, I cannot help it. Um, I keep the news on all the time. And um, I can't help but look at it just out of a habit. So anyway, she said my gums look beautiful. And I mean, that's a big, I've always, you know, really, I've always flossed at night. And I've always loved to brush my teeth. But ever since I've started flossing after each meal, even in the car after lunch, what a big difference. And I, love, I told her about that new toothbrush that I use, the... What is the name of that toothbrush? I always want to say Orbit, but it's not. It is, um, and then I want to say Compass, <laughs> some word like that. I'll put the link down below in the name of it, and I'll think about it pretty soon. But um, I do use that toothbrush at least once a day, and then I have several others. I always feel like if you use a couple of different types of toothbrushes, they're going to hit different spots, you know? So anyway, this is... The, um, gosh, it looks like I had a little bit left, but the um, bath body and massage oil from Shea Moisture. And this is the coconut hibiscus. This is a wonderful shower gel. Uh, what I do is I turn the shower off. I usually step, you know, kind of like halfway out and put my hair in a towel and then get back in and put this all over at, before I've dried off. And I love it. Uh, my friend Amy sent this to me and I am so thankful because I love it. Okay, this is something I finished up. This is the Orbe Super Fine Hairspray. This was okay. Um, not good enough to really want it again. And the scent of this is not John's favorite. Here we go again with another of the Purology Strengthening Hairspray. And I think somebody's here. Um, White Cloud. This is something I was anxious to tell you about. These white cloud cotton rounds, they're larger. I love them. They're, they don't have like that hard edge on the end that can, you know, kind of hurt your eye sometimes. And they're very absorbent and have a really good fluffy absorbent feel to them. And they, I can just wet one of these really good with the um, Bioderma or that Garnier 
and take off all of my makeup, you know, good enough to then wash it with Pureology or get in the shower. So, and I get these at Walmart and I love them. I mean, I really love them. I ran out of them um, probably about two weeks ago and that's like what I do sometimes. Like I'll run out of something that I really like, but I'll just, you know, see if I, you know, see, do I miss it? You know, can I use something else that I have? And I really miss those. And um, looks like here's another little pack of them. These might be the smaller ones. I really like the big ones and I get the small ones. Just depending. I think Brooke uses the smaller ones. She takes her makeup off in my bathroom. Okay, speaking of, did I say Pureology? I meant Purity. This is the Purity um, Cleanser. This is what I use. It's what every we all use to, I know Brooke and I use it after we've taken off our makeup. We use it to wash our face. Will, he uses that sometimes. I've got it in the shower, like a big pump bottle in the shower. And he also likes the, um, he uses Cetaphil sometimes. And then he, um, we, you know, if we're working on his acne, sometimes he'll use the Clear Seal. Um, it's the one for sensitive skin, Clear Seal. Okay, trauma treatment. I'm still using this no matter what. I go to, I'm always going to put a little bit of this in my hair first because it, I feel like it has saved my hair from breaking off. I mean, my hair is still damaged, but the fact that it's still hanging on, I think is a lot due to trauma treatment. Okay, this, I just bought a brand new bottle. We go through, I don't even know, there, I might have even thrown another one of these away. This is the Glow Therapeutics 10% Glycolic Cleanser, Glycolic Acid Aloe Vera. It's very strong. It's it's too strong for a lot of people, but John and I love it. It When you put it on your face, I put it on and leave it on as long as I can take it. It'll start having that prickly feeling, like a almost like a peel that you would get at your dermatologist. And John loves it for his head. I've told you this before, but it has taken off so many of those little brown spots that bald men that play golf and go to the beach get. And um, we love it. And I get it at, you have to... I don't know, you you might be able to order it online, I'll look, but I have to get it from my med spa because it's the 10%, I think it's like prescription strength. You, but you can get a um, glycolic cleanser in a lower strength, I think. Another one of these nail polish removers. Um, Duo Glue, my favorite, no matter which one I try out of any pack, high end, low end, I always go back to the Duo. And I like the dark tone. I don't like the one, the duo that comes with the brush. That is not as latex based, I don't believe. And it, for some reason, will, um, my, you know, I haven't tried it since I had my eyelids done, but used to what it would do is, especially right in the center, would start touching my eyelid and then it would start sticking, make them come off. So I just, I don't like it. Okay, ooh, I need to save this for back to Mac. Mac Brush Cleanser. That's one of those things that I tried to do without. I can't. My daily routine is to get out a paper towel. I usually, I have those select a size paper towels we get at Costco. And I get out to double it over and I just sprinkle some of this on the paper towel and I wash each brush after I use it. Um, liner brushes, powder brushes, everything. So it's not a deep cleanse, but it's enough to keep it where you can go a while without having to really cleanse your brushes. And you can pick up a brush the next time, like a 217 or something, and go to another color. It's And with the Wayne Goss brushes, that's almost all you have to do. They come really, really clean, real easy. So, love that. And I'll save it for back to Mac. Um, this isn't supposed to be in here. I must have stuck that in here. No wonder this started filling up so soon. Okay. Um, this is a Trish McAvoy Triangle of Light Eye Mask. I used these and I like them. I'm just not a good mask person. I don't know what it is. I always, every once in a while, like when I see Tammy talking about mask, you know, I'll get out and do one of hers or do something like this. Um, I did like it, you know, but I don't know how much good it did, but I did like it. It just goes right up underneath your eyes. And um, so, I don't know. These are the cotton clouds. Sorry about all the dust. Dust everywhere. It doesn't matter. I dust at least once a week and it doesn't matter. I still get dust everywhere and cat hair. But um, cotton clouds, these are the ones that are most like the Shiseido and I order these from Amazon. 
I've told you about all this before. Okay. Um, Purology Strength Cure Condition. I must still have the shampoo or maybe I gave it to Brooke. I'm not sure. I'm not using it right now because I've been told I loved this. And when I first started going to Morgan, she wanted me to use this. And what she said is to go through a whole bottle of the shampoo and conditioner and then go on to something else. And I went on to the Hydrate, which I love. That's another good basic is the um, Purology Hydrate in the purple bottle. And um, But this was a good thing to go through. Okay, L'Oreal. The Super Slim Infallible Eyeliner. I liked it okay. It just ran out. Okay. Um, Exuviance Daily Acne Peel. The reason I have these in here is because I use these for Will. And they're not cheap. They're like, I think, $30 or $35. And um, I have all but gotten rid of his acne. And I'm going to do a separate video on that. So I'm going to stick this to the side too because I want to go into exactly what I have done because he has gone from yuck acne, just puberty acne, he's 12, he turns 12 in November, um, to almost a clear face. When I went to California, they weren't good. Brooke was supposed to remind him, but I don't know how much he did it. Um, so it got a little out of hand again, but I think I've got it under control. Okay. Some more of the White Cloud Wipes. Okay, this, I brought this upstairs to show you. This is actually what I have on my lips today. And I just broke down and bought a new one. And I bought it, I went to Estee Lauder to buy my mom a blush. She said that she might need a, a new summer pink blush. So I went to Estee Lauder and bought her a pink blush. I can't even remember which one it was. And they were having gift and I got the gift for her. And I got this and I'm so happy I've missed it so much and um, so and here's the box for it to remind me to tell you but this is the one I had and I used every little drop I probably could take my I might even leave it I don't know you could take a, a lip brush and or your finger and really probably get down in there but part of the beauty of this is just how easy it is it's so balmy and it just feels so good and I think it just gives your lips a pretty color I don't know if it's supposed to be clear or what but I like it so that is one of my must-have favorites okay um, another pro enamel toothpaste this is daily protection um, let's see it looks like I have a bunch of stuff in here no wonder this filled up so quick. Beauty Blender Cleanser. This was like a little pack I think I got when I bought the Beauty Blender. This really works well, but what I like even better is that solid bar. Okay, and then some of this stuff in here is just stuff I wanted to give away. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, this is the MAC Shark Skin. It's an old, um, like a shadow stick that isn't, I don't like those. They're not that good. Okay, and then those are some things that I'm going to give away to one of my friends that I, she is going through a hard time, and I've been giving her a lot of my stuff and helping her along a little bit, and I love it. I love doing that, and um, so that is it for my empties, which is good. It's not going to take very long.